Hello everyone! In today's video I'll show you a whopping 10 ways in which you can change your wallpaper. So number one, from settings of course. Whether you'll change your theme in personalization or you'll open background, it's all the same. Number two is also rather obvious. If you go to the image you want to use, in this case I have a whole folder full of images, you can right click and choose to set it as your background, or you can use the ribbon. How about some tulips? Yes, we all like the tulips, don't we? Number 3. Photos Waiting for my slow computer and the bloated photos UI, this app also seems to have an option to set the image as background, but it's a bit hidden. It's not in the three dot menu, but you have to right click on the image itself and then expand the set as submenu. Here you can also set it as a lock screen picture, how nice. But you can't set it as tiled or centered, right? Well, how about we call the venerable Microsoft Paint? What do you say? That thing has the option to also customize the image appearance once you set it. Taking this beautiful elephant to the test, open the file menu and choose to set it as background. And maybe center it. Yes, it's nice. Time to get serious. The next option involves opening the Windows 7 desktop background page, officially removed from control panel but remaining in Windows. How about desert? There you have it. Next on the list, the group policy. And that is if you have Windows 11 Pro, because Windows Home is Windows Begone. No one cares about your home edition with Candy Crush. When Group Policy finally decides to open, you should go to User Configuration, Administrative Templates, Desktop, Desktop. Look for the Policy Desktop wallpaper and when you are finished looking, double click on it. Set it to Enabled and, as you will see, you have a text field where you can input the path to a wallpaper image file and put it to Centered, Tiled or whatever you like. That being said, for the poor people who can't have nice things like the group policy, there is the registry editor which on Pro accounts for one more way you can change your wallpaper. This time the path is HKEY CURRENT USER CONTROL PANEL DESKTOP and the value is wallpaper. As you can see, you should just replace the path to the image file used as the wallpaper. And if you thought this wasn't serious enough, it's time to dig out the fossil of a once mighty breed, you know, a dinosaur in the computer age. That, my friends, is Internet Explorer. Known for its invasiveness in the past, it once again cannot be removed from Windows because it's not supposed to even be there in the first place. And so, if you want to summon the ghost of IE, you should type in some random things in PowerShell you don't even understand, which is usually the case, and there you go. You should now look for a website that is still stupid enough to support dinosaurs like Google, and you should right-click on the image to set it as background. Be warned though, this absolutely will need to replace your desktop wallpaper, there's no other way. Except if you're like me and enjoy digging up treasure chests like Windows Photo Viewer. Do you remember this species? Well, I do, and I remember how Windows 10 hibernated it, only for some half-baked registry key to summon it. Well, how about we simply run DLL it without actually unhibernating it, because we all know there are better alternatives like Windows Essentials which Microsoft unalived in 2017. And if you thought Windows Photo Viewer wasn't enough, here's the last method, which, I mean, why do I need a user interface? Why, why do I need a mouse in a context menu when I can simply invoke user 32.tr and, you know, PowerShell my wallpaper? And of course I will be copy-pasting code I don't even understand. I mean, at this point, are you even questioning the fact? Uh, you know, if 90% of servers in the world and 3% and of home users do this every day to make Linux work, what's stopping me from making Windows work that way? I mean, it seems to be normal to do it, apparently. What's so difficult, accessing a library function by means of copy and paste? Even your grandpa can copy and paste! 
And after that, it all boils down to a fire path, yet again. This time, the image of choice is, well, IMG-19, which is the dark mode wallpaper. I think the half-baked dark mode that Windows 11 has is honestly less broken than light mode with a dark mode wallpaper. I mean, is that even safe for your eyes? I should be in jail by this time. And you should be in my recent subscribers pain because you like my jokes and you like my videos. Because my videos are better than everyone else's videos. Come on, subscribe, 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 subscribe.